What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get this warm tone, autumn looking color grade in Photoshop. For this tutorial we'll be using Adobe Camera Raw plugin that comes with Photoshop and Photoshop itself to get the look that we are looking for. Without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back. Before we start the color grade itself, I'd like you guys to understand something very important about colors. The color wheel is divided into two sets of colors, the warm colors and the cool colors. I got this picture from Google. So the warm colors are these ones up here and the cool colors are these other ones. So if you want to achieve a warm tone or an autumn looking color grade, you need to get rid of the cool colors and keep only the warm colors that's how you have the warm look so now that you get that let me open up the picture in camera raw. this is how a raw picture loads up when you open it in adobe photoshop this is the camera raw plugin now when you understand the principle behind it like i explained about the warm colors you'll be able to do the color grading in any app that you use for your color grading be it lightroom or capture one you can see we have some greens here and some cool tones so we are going to get rid of that to achieve our look the first thing I'm going to do is to increase the temperature and then also increase my tint because if I move it towards the red, it will get rid of the greens. Let me show you. If I take it this way, more greens. If I take it this other way, less greens. So I'll keep it around 20. I'll quickly tweak my exposure and other things down here so that we can get straight to the color grading itself. This is where we are now like just tweaking this first side i know it doesn't look the way you want it to look but don't worry we are getting there so now we have that really warm feel to it now let's go and tweak the colors i'll switch over to the hsl slider this is the hsl sliders and this is where we are going to do much of the color grading so the next thing we are going to do is to get rid of the cool colors in the picture what she's wearing is kind of blue and um purple so i'll tweak that a little bit more i'll not get rid of it completely so to get rid of some colors and tweak the colors i'm just going to use the hue here so i'm going to move the yellow slider towards this other side as you can see then also the green sliders towards the left then for the dress i'll make it more of teal so towards the side for teal same with here then Okay, this one doesn't really affect anything. I'll now go to the saturation section. This is where I'm going to change many other things. So I'll reduce the saturation of almost every other thing. I don't want what she's wearing to be too saturated, so I'll bring it down. I just want it to be kind of like really low key. So I'll get rid of all the other things. If you notice, if I get rid of the yellows, it will have this other dark look to it. That's not what I'm looking for. I don't want to. A great look to the leaves so i'll just increase the yellows a little bit more and then the orange it is too saturated so i'll bring it down let's say by 10. yeah i think that's good then the luminance this is if you want to make some other things some colors bright in the picture like address now if i increase the luminance you notice that it will be brighter so i'll just play around with that So this is where we are now, we just moving the HSL sliders we have gotten from this look to this look. I know it already looks good already but we still have some other things we can do to make it better. So the next thing I'm going to do is to tweak my highlight, like my split tone here. I'll add some warmth to the highlight, let's just make it around 10. Also same thing here, also add some warmth to my shadows now let me show you what that did it moved it from here to here so i'll just move the slider so it'll be more in the highlight than in the shadows next thing i'm going to do is to add a little vignette just to make it more dramatic then another place i'm going to play with is the calibra calibration section this is where i'm going to reduce more of the blues 
and the greens and the reds all those colors that are in the picture it's still looking really saturated to me so i reduce the vibrance okay we are now at a good place as you can see we've gotten from here to here the next thing i'm to do is to i'm going to do is to open it in photoshop so i'll open it in photoshop now so now that we are in photoshop i'm just going to do a few other things to really get it to where i want it to be so the first thing i'm going to do is to create a gradient map adjustment layer so gradient map and so i have a gradient here that i like using for my pictures let me open and show you this is it these are the colors in the gradient i'll just make it soft light you see it looks horrible so i reduce the opacity to around 10. okay let me show you the effect it added very subtle but nice effect the next thing i'm going to do is to use my hue and saturation slider and reduce the saturation in the rates a little bit more you see it's too saturated so i'll just bring it down let's say by minus eight next thing i'm going to do is to create a color balance stack using the color balance action that i normally use for it i'll leave a link to it in the description in case you want it so under here i'm going to tweak more of the colors under the mid tones i'll just tweak it i'll add more reds and blues look good here so I add more blues to the mid tones then i'll go to the shadows and just mess around till i get the the result that i want okay so that's it let me show you the difference this is the before this is the after you can see how much better it looks now just tweaking the the color balance layers now the final thing i'm going to play with is the selective color i like using the word play because it's fun to me i love i love color grading it's always fun this is where you make your image different from every other person's image through your color grade so you just play around with it till you get the result that you are satisfied with so for the cyans i think i'll just add more reds there yeah i think that looks better then the yellows I love that yeah i love this look then i'll increase the blacks to make it more punchy then the next one is to go to my blacks you see i can add some nice effects Also play around with my whites and that is the result let me show you the before and after just doing those three things in the in Photoshop this is how we got it from camera and this is where we are now so that's it guys we've gotten the look we were looking for you can play around with it you can add more layers you can tweak it to any extent that you want to go with but that's just the basic of it we got rid of all the cool colors that were present in the picture and added the warm colors that we needed and this is the result that we've gotten it has that autumn warm look to it i hope you learned a thing from this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button so you get more awesome videos and you'll miss out on other videos in the future Thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next one.